Toby Okuchuku, the Deputy Minority Leader. Well, we're actually here, uh, rising from the outcome of the two elections that took place last Saturday. We're here to register our voice as to what actually happened. Let me, on behalf of the minority caucus, but particularly PDD caucus, let me clearly state that we were not actually impressed with the mode of the election, given that many lives were lost during that process. Um, election is not meant to lose lives because the essence of coming into governance is for us to represent the people. So if those that are going to be represented are killed, then who are we going to eventually govern or represent? So that informs why we are here to register that we are displeased. We are totally against what happened in the last Saturday election. Take for instance, in um, if you look at the videos that are going viral, if uh, PDP state woman leader in Kogi State was born alive. Um, the senatorial, a senator, uh, Senator Dino Melahi, his constituency in his unit, his nephew was killed. And in Bayesa, the same thing, ballast box snatching and all whatnot. Uh, so we came here for the purpose of registering that we are totally not uh, in favor of the outcome of the election. And particularly, we are shocked on the floor while we were trying to consider report, one of us, uh, Honorable Leke Abejide, precisely uh, stood up to allude to the fact that the whole House, House of Representatives, are totally in support of what has happened as per the last Saturday's election. And that informed why I raised a part of order under privileges. Uh, stating the obvious that us as PDP members and other minority uh, caucus members, because if you check, um, SDP participated in Kogi election, Accord participated in um, Bayesa election, that we are 100% not in support of the outcome of the election. And I do not see why somebody on the floor should now say that we're all in support of the outcome to me is an abuse of our privilege and that is why we have come here to let nigerians know that we are not in support because it may have been carried when he made that submission and if we don't refute it it will mean to the effect that we are in support given that also that you know the party will be going to the tribunal to seek for redress. We support them wholly, totally, in that drive to reclaim the mandate that has been taken away. This is our submission. Thank you, Leader. Uh, thank you. Uh, we want to share with you, like the Leader said, our concerns with regard to the trajectory of our democracy. As a matter of fact, what happened in Kogi and Bayez that are quite incongruent with our expectations, the spirit and letter of our uh, statutory provisions. Unfortunately, we have come to degenerate in this country with regard to how elections are conducted. We are improving in the negative sense. But as a matter of fact, if you see the clips that are flying all over the place, if you see the report from Nigerians, if you see the level of deprivation, if it, you see the number of people who didn't participate, the level of violence that has been orchestrated in just two states, it is quite unfortunate. And it is something that really has to be investigated. And we are calling on Mr. President, who is the Commander-in-Chief, to take action with regard to that. We are better than this. And to think that this can happen in just two states, when you are supposed to be much more efficient. 
it, it leaves a lot of a lot of room for questions. So for us, we are happy with it. But as Nigerians and as the opposition, we believe and strongly too that these matters will be interrogated in court and we will seek redress and we will know that our remedy will be uh, granted by the courts because in the public opinion in the court of public opinion it's self-evident in the court of law i don't think uh, there will be any need to 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 make a, a finding that will be distinct from what our people have really seen so we are very, very sad with what has happened, particularly with the loss of lives. Like the leader said, no election, not any single position, is worth the blood of any Nigerian. That a woman leader from Kogi State was born to, li born to life is a negative testimony to what we have come to see as elections. And if we cannot manage two states, how can you manage 36? So we cannot be progressing in negative sense. So uh, uh, it leaves a lot of room, uh, you know, for us to do better. And I believe that uh, our own agenda as minority caucus of the House of Representatives, to and uh, particularly the uh, 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 PDP, we shall drive and make sure that ele the Electoral Act has to be amended and the time for it is now. We need to address some of these imperfections that have manifested in very clear forms in these elections, particularly the latest ones we have had. You know, if you have uh, somebody like Dino, a senator of the Republic, who have been humiliated in his own word, much is left to be desired. So we think that the what we have harvested as the, 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 the symptoms of our challenges should now you know be respond we should respond to them by what amendments we, we prompt in the act. And the time is now. Thank you.